Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is NJS and thank you so much for clicking on the video. Welcome to the first video of 2017. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Another year has gone by, so it's time for the usual new year, new me bullshit, which I'm sure y'all are going to see in your life for the first few weeks. Anyways, I want to take this time to wish all you guys out there a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, hope you had a great new year. If you don't celebrate anything at all, I hope you had a relaxing end of 2016 because, oh boy, out of all the years I've been on YouTube, 2016 sure was a doozy. Anyways, uh, today what we're going to be doing this year, I always feel like I need to start off every single new year with some sort of unboxing, some sort of pickups video, which is what I plan to do. I'm actually going to hit you out with both this year. Uh, so we are going to be doing a pickups video, but that's going to be coming later down the road. First things first, I want to do an unboxing of something that, you know, it, it is going to show up in the pickups video, but I think that this is, you know, it warrants its own video unboxing, so I'm just going to cut the theatrics and get straight into this. We're going to be unboxing ooh, a big old box from RightStuff.com. Yes, you guys know RightStuff is the premier place if you're ordering anything. I used to say anything anime and manga, but they've uh, branched out since then. they got a wide assortment of anything, um, any and everything. There you go. So we're going to be unboxing this giant box right here which if you follow me on facebook and twitter you guys would know by now what it is uh, i ordered this uh, i think towards the end of 2016 i believe it was like the last week it took around a week or so with all the holiday shippings and all that stuff and uh it's finally here so we're gonna unbox it with the trusty batman knife but realistically you don't really need that considering right stuff's packaging is pretty painless and seamless so we're gonna open up this big bad boy, and it's been a while since I've ordered from Right Stuff. Last I checked in my uh, order history, the last thing I ordered was in 2013, so that was more than three years ago. Jeez. Yeah, they have a very interesting way of packing things, I'll say that. But separated in um, two parts, so yeah, I think. All that's in here is literally just the contents wrapped in this paper. So, wow, this is going to be a mess to clean up. Sheesh. Okay, so, all this, some more of this. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's been a while since I've ordered from Right Stuff. I'm not used to this. I'm used to bubble wrap and all that stuff. I didn't say bubble tape this time, yes. So, of course, you have the usual ads from uh, Right Stuff. This right here, I assume, is their Christmas card. Straight out of Right Stuff. Shipped with care from your anime family. Picked by... I uh, can't read the initials. And it's packed by Heather. So that's freaking awesome. I got a nice little Christmas card from those guys. And they are pretty sweet, man. Their customer service is uh, definitely one that um, I, I had an issue a couple of years ago where they double charged me for my order. And then literally they got back to me and said, oh, my God, we're so sorry and all this stuff. So it's unlike other companies where it's just like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Give us 14 to 15,000 business days to refund you. Uh, we got an ad for one of my favorite series, Azumanga Dayo freaking love this and it looks like a uh, sentai picked up the rights and they're gonna re-release it on dvd so i'm probably gonna buy it again because i love this series so much <laughs> uh we got an ad here for cross Angel rondo of angel and dragon i don't know what the fuck this is all these weird chinese cartoons order confirmation yeah uh i'm gonna try my best way to go through this in chronological order but i don't know if it'll work out hold up give me a second here i hope i'm not showing anything on camera okay hold on wait okay i got that i know this one's at the end oh good they're color coordinated so i understand that much all right ladies and gentlemen what we have here fuck <laughs> i almost got everything mixed up hold on I assure you, this will all pay off in the end. Ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is a shit ton of JoJo greatness. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, 
I took the plunge and started the JoJo manga journey, man. You know, I watched Stardust Crusaders. I really enjoyed that. You know, I, I watched bits and pieces of the various animes here and there. But you know me, I like to get down to the source of where it all began. And of course, what better way than the manga itself? So this is actually funny because um, for Christmas, me and my friends, we exchange gifts. You know, basically, we just throw around our Amazon wish list and say, hey, here, give me this, give me that, and whatever. And uh, one of my homies, Tundex, formerly known as Dante86, he actually bought me the first volume of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and I actually finished this entire manga volume in one sitting, and I was just like, you know what, I, I really need to escalate my JoJo reading greatness, because while part one is not the strongest in the series from what I've heard, it definitely has, you know, its, its merits, and it's worth, you know, going through the journey and not just skipping around like some people do. So I got part one for Christmas from Tundex, picked up a... Uh, part two right here of the phantom blood and round all that off with uh part three but it doesn't stop there we have part two second volume for part two battle tendency and uh we have the third volume and rounding it all off we have the fourth which is noticeably bigger Compared to all the other manga volumes. I don't know if y'all could tell, but here's the regular three. They look the same size. And then that. Sheesh, the behemoth of a volume. And we have the most recent volume that's available right now here in the States in the nice hardcover editions. We have part one of Stardust Crusaders, or should I say book one of part three. Um, and this is where I started with the anime. I saw this and I was just like, wow, this JoJo stuff is cool. Uh, but then... I was like, you know what, I, I really need to understand more about this world. So I went back and I now have everything, which I'm very excited uh, because y'all know me. I love reading manga, but I in the past couple of years, I've been slacking on it. I've been more obsessed with watching uh, stuff on Netflix and all that. But uh, considering that I have a lot of um, free time that I could use towards reading, uh, I felt like, hey, you know, I need to start a new series, and what better way with JoJo, man? And what's really awesome about all this stuff is, I mean, y'all see all this manga, you're like, whoa, Neo, that stuff must have cost a fortune. These things go for like 20 bucks. Right stuff is your best freaking friend when it comes to deals, guys. So not only were each of these volumes $13 on right stuff, but I also have this um, right stuff got anime membership, with, which stacks up on discounts. So I think it's like, I got an extra 10% off each of the volumes. In addition to that, there was a year-end sale where it was 32% discount off of all your orders. So all of the manga volumes right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven volumes of JoJo I got for around $70 to $80. I forget the final amount, but it was below $90, which is insane considering each of these volumes retails for $20 if you go to somewhere like Barnes and Nobles or what have you. So I definitely think that this is a great deal, especially for hardcover manga. And, you know, I'm excited, man. I can't wait for the next volume of this to come out so I can, you know, pick that up. Because I know going at the pace I'm at right now, if I read one volume a day or one volume every other day, I'll have this stuff down and done before the end of January, which is insane. Uh, what do y'all think? Should I pace myself when it comes to JoJo considering that, you know, not all of them are out in this edition? Or should I just go crazy, do like one volume a day, have fun with it? I think I'm going to pace myself and do maybe two volumes a week, if that. Maybe take it very slow and do a volume a week. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, um, I'm so excited for this, all this JoJo greatness. I finished up the first volume, so, well, first volume right here. So I have to go through and do all that stuff. Uh, also, let me know if you guys want to see me do some type of JoJo impressions or reviews because, you know, it's one thing to see people come on here and hype up JoJo like, oh my god, JoJo is amazing, wow. But, you know, it's another thing for a person to actually sit down, read the series, and give you guys reviews slash impressions as you go on. Uh, I think that'll be pretty cool, titled like a new reads JoJo or something. Uh, definitely let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, as far as other videos that y'all can expect coming very soon... Uh, like I told you guys, I'm working my way through my PlayStation 4 backlog, um, trying to finish up a couple of games. I've been playing World of Final Fantasy, uh, which is a really interesting game, and I'll probably do a first impressions on that. Uh, in addition to uh, the pickups video, which is going to include everything from the past couple of months, because it has been a while. Whew. Yeah, I think that's everything. I think that's all the that housework and the cleaning I need to do for the channel. For me, for now, my name is NGS, signing off, and like always, I will catch you guys later. Peace out.